What's going on guys? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with another video and I'm here with Hank from Bass. Um, tell them what you do. Yeah, pretty simple Noah. I am the manager of our college series, high school series, and all of our youth aspects here at Bass. So he's pretty much doing everything for the high school, everything for the college. He handles all that stuff. Um, and I got a lot of questions from you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking, how do I start a club? How do I start fishing the tournaments? What are the steps? So I took notes on that. I got some good questions. Um, so the first one is requirements to fish in tournaments. Right, so I mean, pretty simple for us with our high school series. Our, our requirements are you need to be an official organization or, or you know club at your high school that's your first step you need to get affiliated at your high school and if you have problems with that we have a, a denial process that that's on our website but uh, that's your first step get official with your school then you need to affiliate with us it's very simple it's a $20 fee per person that includes a bass uh, membership and a bass nation membership and with that bass nation membership the important thing about that is is you get an insurance policy that helps your school that's a big question we get a lot of times it's a million dollar third party liability insurance policy that helps protect uh, the named entities when they're competing but that's super technical but uh, again Affiliate with your school, then affiliate with us, and then you're good to go. Our tournaments are entry fee free, and uh, we have uh, several across the country that happen, so there's a lot of options for you out there. All right, another question. Make sure you're taking notes. A lot of good information in this video. Um, other question was like a step by step to get into fishing tournaments, like how you go to your school, right. and then you go. Yeah, so I mean, the, the first thing you need to do is go talk to your principal, athletic director. If they're not as accessible, go talk to a teacher. Ask them what you need to do. Talk to some official person at your high school. They're going to tell you who you need to go talk to. Um, and, uh, and if you're having problems, you can always call us. My contact information is on Bassmaster.com. But again, you, you, you got to get into the school. Then you recruit your anglers the first thing you want to do again is get official then you recruit your buddies who you want to join the club you need a minimum of two that's it um, you know it can be we have some clubs who have 75 students involved in it, and I hope to break that record I hope we get over 100 um, grab your buddies and then really you know you, you're gonna have to go to your dad's friends dad someone like that for a boat to get out there on the water you know that's that's the one tough part is finding that <coughs> access to a boat but you can still you can go compete on a you know farm pond stuff like that if you can't have access to a boat uh, but in, to compete in our national tournaments you're gonna need to get out on the water but we don't want that to stop you if you just like to fish you know go go to the as some schools have ponds right behind their high school that they're fishing in just go in groups and yeah, exactly. have a good time yep. So what if the school doesn't or is not wanting them to start right. a club? So that that's what we talked about a second ago, but we have a we're not gonna let that stop you from forming a club. We have what we call a denial letter process. I like to call it uh, schools who are unofficially official, if that makes sense. But basically what you do is you say, okay, if you're having problems talking to the principal or the athletic director and they say, we don't wanna do that, we don't want any part of that. So you say, okay, well you sign this sheet of paper, it's all mine. They just fill it out and they basically acknowledge that you have tried to form a club. They have said, no, we're not going to do that. They're going to sign on behalf of the school for that. And then they turn that in. We have that on file. And then you can go form what we call a community club. And a community club can be uh, just representative of your high school or it can be multiple high schools it can be a county club uh, we let some homeschool students go that route uh, you know some some smaller private schools go that route and that's called the denial uh, club list but you're still on the same level can compete against other high schools um, you know ultimately we want to do away with that because as this grows we have close to 300 high schools on file yeah. right now um, we want all of them to be official yeah that was another big question like the homeschool and everything so they just get on the well it, there's actually two options for homeschools you can go the Tim Tebow <coughs> route too if, if if within that county if they allow homeschool students to play say football or baseball within their zoned high school they're allowed to join that high school as long as the high school right allows them to do that so pretty much as long as they're in district and everything right. yeah exactly All right. how many states are currently like have bass clubs uh right now we have 42 states 42 and two countries wow. canada and australia wow. actually excuse me three care. countries and zimbabwe <laughs> that's crazy how many colleges have bass programs who colleges we're about at the 250 mark and when you think about it 
the high school numbers should be a lot higher than the colleges because yeah. law of averages how many high schools out there per college so we're already over our college number in um, in numbers uh, with colleges you're kind of I don't want to say we've kind of hit our peak but we're not seeing as many new schools join it's just the same schools are continuing to grow their program college is growing great it's just in terms of new schools coming in we kind of hit that saturation point I got you so tell us about like the open events and how many you've had in the past right. year and how many you're going to have in the future. Right. Well, to show you kind of how that has evolved, and when we first started our, our high school endeavors, we had our Invitational, which was in 2013. And then last year we had our Open, which was still one. Uh, and then this year we bumped it up to three fully run Opens. We have a, a Southern, a Central, and a Midwestern. So we're kind of trying to touch on all those areas so there's close tournaments for yeah, you guys to go Everyone can fish. still fish those, right. right? They're open to anybody. You can go fish all three. You can fish one. It doesn't matter. If you want to come right. fish it, as long as you are affiliated with Bassmaster High School, you've gone and gotten official with your school or provided the denial letter and then joined Bassmaster High School, you are open to fish any open Bassmaster High School tournament. So what So what goes further past the opens? What happens like right. if you get in a certain percentage? And... Right, yeah, so with the opens, that is a direct route to our national championship. So if you want to, uh, if you come fish in an open, it's a basically one national championship spot per 10 boats who compete. So if we have 50 boats compete, that's five teams that advance to our national championship. 100, that's 10 teams, 150, One 15 yeah. teams. Uh, and they advance to our national championship where last year we awarded over $90,000 in cash and are in sp uh, scholarships and prizes. And uh, we're awesome. gonna do that again this year too. So what are your like future plans? Anything new to expand the program? Right. Anything like that? One of the really neat things that we're excited about is our team trail <clears throat> aspect. And so everyone stay with me on this, but this is designed, this is almost like if you have Little League Baseball leagues across the country. We don't necessarily, we, we're, we're trying to design a program that leads all to our national championship, okay? So we have the opens that we run, we go on around and run those, but then we also have our team trails. So that basically means, Noah, if you start a trail around the Atlanta area, you have to affiliate with us. It's like you're a, a little league affiliated sanctioned league, okay? You run four tournaments under our rules, our umbrella, for every 25 teams you have participate in your trail, at the end of the year equals one spot to our national championship. So these schools aren't having to go to our opens. We want them to come to our opens. So you know, if you fish our opens, you get to hang out with elite series anglers, you get all kind of goodies from Costa Sunglasses, you know, our, and so it's, it's a very cool event to happen. But if you can't make that, you can even form a trail around your house, run under our rules, our guidelines, and qualify from that to our national championship. That's pretty cool. So you're opening more opportunities again. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna have, we already have team, 10 team trails that are all over the country, and we anticipate that. We don't know how big that's going to be. Wow. It's unlimited, whoever wants to do it. That's awesome. So, and then you guys did where there's some automatic qualifiers like in the regular trails for each state? Right, each, so that that's the third facet of how to get to our national championship. We have three ways. So you have state. the open, the team trail, which is new, that started this year, but then last year, we only allowed each state nation, by affiliating with Bassmaster High School, you're a member of the Bass Nation. So there's a Georgia Bass Nation, an Alabama Bass Nation, a Mississippi Bass Nation, and an Australia Bass Nation. All of those state nations get a, a guaranteed two spots to our national championship. Right. They're state champions and they're runner-ups. So that, that's what's existed last year. That's where we got our 62 boat field. Yeah. This year we're already over 100 because we've added in our opens plus the original locked in two teams per state nation. Yeah, you're just opening more ways for right. people to qualify in. If your high school doesn't have a program, how can they participate in the tournaments and open? So again, that goes back to the denial route. They need to go through that process, talk to an administrator, get them to sign that form. Right. And if they're having problems, they can contact me. What are the safety requirements that you need for right. like a tournament? So we're, we're starting to, the first thing is, uh, well, if, you, if you're competing in any of our tournaments, we have a, a long list of safety guidelines you have to do. The first and foremost, 
and this just goes to anybody out there always wear your life jacket anytime that big motor is on and running you need to have that life jacket on i don't care if you're just out there for fun we just see too many accidents happen that could have been avoided if you had that life jacket on so that's yeah. the first thing you guys need to do no matter what but uh you know there's several safety things that we require we're, we're beginning to install coast guard safety uh, courses will need to be passed by all students competing with us that's because that's becoming a state requirement across the board we're going to go ahead and start that early with you guys and have that required as long as you're of age to take that test so that's one of the big things and then they cover pretty much everything that's within our safety guidelines safety first what does it need to enter a tournament everything all the requirements well you need a boat that's the first right. thing uh it has to be uh, in, in access to a boat. You know, I want to be clear there. You know, we have a specific requirements that are listed in our, in our rules. I don't want to go through all that just because it, it's going to get confusing to you guys. But the boat needs to be insured. It needs to meet a certain length. The motor can't have a, a – uh, it can't exceed a certain amount of horsepower. But uh, that's the first thing. You need to have a partner. We, we always want you to have a partner. These are designed to be team events. And then you need a boat coach, a, a boat captain. Some people will refer to it as that, but we call them a coach and an adult who's going to take you out and uh, and be your uh, your captain slash coach for the day. He drives the boat, the main engine, and then uh, basically is your uh, your cheerleader throughout the day. <laughs> well, all right, guys. I'm pretty sure that's all the questions I have um, written down. So pretty much get a club start at your school. Start getting into the tournaments. Right. And you should be good from and there. The key there, Bassmaster.com slash high school. Click on the registration tab at the top. It basically step-by-step -step lists all the forms you need. Everything you need is on there, including our contact information if you have any questions, problems. And get in touch with your state youth director. We have a person in charge in every state who is very well in tune with the high school uh, happenings within that state, and they usually can answer a lot of your questions. If I can't, their contact information is on the website also. But uh, it's all there. If you need to contact us, uh, you can, and uh, you know that should cover everything you need. Yeah, or you just have, watch this video. Yeah, if you have any more questions, you can leave them below. I can try to help out with them. But I'll put that link below so you guys can go check that out. And guys, be prepared for it. Talk to your parents about it. Um, talk to a teacher at school because that's another thing when you're trying to set up a club I don't know if that's how your school is, but my school you need to have a teacher that's going to sponsor the club So get all of that settled and everything and then try to advance into the club But make sure we're in summertime right now So get everything prepared and then when you go into the school year You're going to want to get it started off quick because right. sometimes they might not let you halfway in the year So already be prepping for that um, this summer well, I think that's it. If you guys have any more questions, like I said, leave a comment below. Thank you, Hank. No, thank you, man. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool place. Um, pretty cool sitting in the best headquarters. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>